Remember the day you first ever logged into Minecraft? No? You really don't remember? Never fear, sub, because I'm going to use this machine to revert your brain back to noob level, and you're going to show us 29 mistakes only noob players make in Minecraft. And zap! There you go. Many of us have been playing the game for so long that it can be hard to remember what it's like to be a noob. We can watch him make the classic errors all over again. Let's get to it. Number one, forgetting to punch wood. A fresh new world for a fresh new noob. What's the first step in playing the game? No sub, it's not digging down. Yes, you're getting warmer. It's something brown. No, no, stop collecting dirt. You need wood. You need to punch a tree. Ugh, this might take longer than I thought. Number two, wasting materials on wooden tools. Now you have wood, you can craft a pickaxe, and you can craft a bunch of other wooden tools too, but that's such a waste. You should be saving the wood and using your wooden pickaxe to get some cobblestone. Then you can go straight up the ladder and craft stone tools, much more efficient. Number three, exploring at nighttime. I'm sure you've come across a spooky mob by now. It's no matter. You've left it until sunset and now you're out in the open without a house. Any smart player would know this isn't a smart move, especially considering this is when hostile mobs spawn. Sub, build a house already. Number four, not setting your spawn. Okay. So it's not much of a house. I definitely wiped your building skills along with your survival knowledge. But at least you have a bed now, and you learned to craft that all by yourself. Unless you didn't select the bed to set spawn after placing it. <sighs> Sub, you noob. Enjoying the video? Don't forget to select the subscribe button. It might even set your spawn point to this channel. Number five, forgetting to eat food and starving to death. I'm not sure if Sub is aware of the hunger bar. It's slowly been ticking down this entire time, and he keeps ignoring all the meat that pigs are dropping. Sub, you're going to need to plant some seeds, or at least find a villager farm to get some grub. Cook a pork chop or two. Just don't eat rotten flesh. <sighs> Number six, upping your difficulty level. Uh-oh, Sub's found the options menu. No, don't touch that. Ah, great. Now you've gone and done it. Good luck surviving on a hard world when you know next to nothing. Replace your door because zombies can now break wooden ones down. And all hostile mobs spawn a lot more frequently. And you can actually die from starvation. So make sure you know what you're signing up for. Number seven, using wood to fuel a furnace. Wait. Sub, have you even found coal yet? How are you even going to cook any food? Oh, you're, you're literally just using raw logs. Couldn't you at least make some charcoal? Number eight, ignoring the rules of fire. That's a nice house, Sub. You're finally learning some things, and I see you've even collected some coal. I'm glad you know how the fires of furnaces work now, but you do realize you built your house next to a lava pit that is slowly starting a forest fire that's soon to consume everything you own, right? Number nine, mining at the wrong level. Okay, back to the drawing board. You might as well start trying to get some iron. Oh, you have. Good job. What about diamond? Ooh, you've made a large diamond strip mine. However, I'm sorry to inform you that you've dug this at the wrong level. No diamonds spawn up here, sub. Number 10, mining diamonds with a stone pick. This is the right level, and there are some diamonds. What good luck you've had. Of course, you wouldn't know that as these are technically the first diamonds you've ever found. No, wait, stone picks can't harvest diamonds. <sighs> Number 11, 
not bringing torches. Sub, why are you mining in the dark? Oh, you only crafted 20 torches and now you're out? But there's still so much of this cave to go. Grab some sticks, coal, and make more. You don't have any more sticks, do you? Oh, sub. Number 12. Not checking for traps. You wouldn't remember this, but you're a master trap artist. You've been making traps for years. Unfortunately, you have no idea where they are anymore, and you're going to end up setting them all off, from fake outs to piston activations. Number 13. Going AFK in a cave. Back to mining, I see? Well, don't get overconfident and go cooking your dinner while still down there. You've been placing some torches, but not enough to stop mobs spawning. Number 14. Trampling your own crops. You've got a farm going, finally, and now you're even using a hoe and planting seeds. Check you out! Oh, and you're also constantly jumping up and down and ruining the dirt as you go. Good job. Number 15. Not organizing stored items. Where's your sugarcane, sub? Any idea? That chest? This one? Maybe the one over there. You know, you should really tidy up some more. Number 16. Forgetting to use water buckets. Such an essential item, but you wouldn't know that, would you, Sup? Without a water bucket, you can't put yourself out when you're on fire or protect against lava. Number 17. Wasting enchanting levels and forgetting XP orbs. You know those glowing balls you've been collecting for hours? Yeah, those. Instead of leaving them lying around, you should have been collecting them to use on enchantments, and not the bad ones. Number 18. Breaking glass without silk touch. After all, collecting sand, smelting it, and then crafting glass into panes is a long and painful process. It would make far more sense if you kept all your glass each time instead of smashing it. Of course, Sub hasn't got silk touch. Number 19. Unprepared Nether Trips The Nether is a dark and scary place with lots of fire and horrible noises. Noobs shouldn't go there unless they're really ready. Sub! You're not even wearing armor! Have you got a sword? Oh, a shovel. Great! Number 20. Overestimating your redstone capabilities. Ah, you found some redstone, I see. You've learned it can carry pulses, and you've even made some circuits. I knew some part of the old you would shine through. Perhaps not all of your skills, however. Number 21. Low durability tools. Going for an adventure? Why not? You've got a sword, a shield, a bow, and even armor. What's to lose? Except all of that almost instantly because they all have low durability. Always bring backup tools, sub. Number 22. Thinking golden tools are good. Oh, you've got a new set of backup tools. Now you're listening to me, you might actually become a pro. Never mind. Number 23. Ugly one-block dirt stacks. I've been taking a look around the world since I wiped your memory and wow, oh wow. You've been stacking dirt like a pig in a mud farm, either to get away from enemies or to get a vantage point. Remove it afterwards. Number 24. One-block melon farms. Sub, I've noticed something about your farm. Your melons aren't growing at all. Maybe that's because you've shoved them all into one block. They need another block for the actual melon to grow. Number 25. Getting stuck in the nether. Want to go to the nether again? Well, as long as you're prepared this time. You have armor, a sword, food. What else could you possibly need? Oh, yeah, you may need a flint and steel, too. You should have known that one. 
number 26, the end without slow falling. You finally made it in the newbiest, longest way possible, but you forgot one key thing. Any way to stop falling damage when that ender dragon gives you a whack. Feather falling boots, slow falling potion, any of this ring a bell, sub? Number 27, throwing away good items. You conquered the end and even the end city. Now you have an elytra. I guess you're not a noob after all. No, why would you throw it away like that? The elytra is super valuable. Number 28, building the wither in your house. This one is so basic to anyone who knows the wither explodes when spawning. But to you, a humble sub with no wither kills to his name, you've built it in the worst place possible. Number 29, digging down. Sub, what on earth are you doing? I told you not to dig down at the beginning of the video. It'll get you into a sticky situation for sure, and there's no escape. Oh, you're really not going to listen to me? After everything you've learned today? Fine. And that's what you get, noob.